but let's go into the hammer editor here really quickly and sh i want to actually show you how this actually works okay um in reality i've made a little map and we've talked about how to make these how to build them perfectly uh, using no draw textures, using, you know, kind of more interesting looking multiple textures that, that consists of uh, a bottom texture and a top texture. We talked about wrapping. We talked about scale. You'll notice if I select this, that this is 768 units long, for example. This one is 512. This is all power of eight. That's because we want the textures to fit and the scale to be right. But we talked about this. We don't need to talk about this anymore. Um, in order to set our brushes, um, sorry, to set our splits, we need to use this technology. Basically, Basically, what it's called is hint and skip brushes, okay? Uh, when I said you need to give a hint to the BSP engine where to split, I wasn't just using the word randomly, I was actually using it on purpose because that's exactly what it is called. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, if we create a brush, we'll just create a brush anywhere for now just for demonstration purposes. It has a random texture here. We're gonna just select that brush, um, do Shift A or open the face E edit sheet, browse, um, and then you're going to find a texture called tools slash tools hint and also a texture called tools slash tools skip. Pick the skip and apply to every side. Skip. What skip does, it just, it doesn't have anything to do with optimization really. It just tells the game, uh, the compiler of the map to actually completely skip these faces with that texture on. So essentially now we have a brush that has a skip texture on each side. That means don't do anything. It's literally not going to end up being, being in the game. Okay. It's just there as a kind of a removal of a single face from a brush. But what now what we can do is we can select a side, a face of this brush, and we can give it a different texture. And suddenly we have sort of just a single face. That's what you need to do. That's why it's called hint and skip brushes. So w only one side, one side here gets the hint. And you can right click that to apply that. Now what we have is we have a brush where none of the sites matter. Okay, all the sites are going to get eliminated. They're gone. But that one face that we have given a different texture and that has a hint texture and the hint texture does exactly that. It allows the compiler, the BSP to make a split there to create a portal along this face. So how have we used that? Well, all I did here really is just I did exactly what we made here. I, I made hint brushes here, here. I should say hint faces, really. Here and here. So just exactly cutting the corners like that. And then I also added, basically, I made these longer so they reach into this little starting area. But that's not really that important. So again, if you think about this, let's say we're right here, okay? If we go up here, we can really see what's happening. All this blue stuff, uh, you, you can ignore. That's the skip brushes, okay? But um, if we are, as the player... If we are, let's take the model. Let's say we're right here, okay? Um, no matter like what happens, if I'm gonna move all the way here, I hope you can really see that. Um, if I'm here, I'm not. I'm going to be able to see into this, yes, but into this leaf, I can't. I need to be in this corner to see into this leaf right here, okay? I hope that makes sense. There's nothing else I can do. I can't peek the corner. As soon as I go into this, yes, I can see. But if I'm in this, I can't. Okay. All right, we're loading into the map. So open the console. Obviously, you need to have the console enabled. And do MAT, so mat, underscore. And you can, for example, do wireframe one. This will show you what the game is actually thinking you can see right now. Now, as you can see, I'm right here in the kind of the spawn area. And the game notices that, I, yes, I can see a little bit over the edge here, but that's okay because this is areas, those are areas that are easy to see. But notice how these props, everything in, in blue is a prop. I put props in all the corners so you can see. Notice how they really only pop in when I make this turn. Okay, let's go into the loop and do what we told, what I told you about. If I'm in the center leaf, remember there was a leaf here. If you do want to see the leaves, do mat underscore leaf vis one. This shows you the current leaf we're in. Notice these blue lines, just like in the paint diagram. This little corner here, yes, I can see into this, into this leaf over here, there's a portal right here into that, but it's not trying to draw anything beyond that corner over here, and it's not even drawing the prop in there, okay? So I need to actually make that corner. Notice how much of the stuff that I can't see I'm blocking out. 
Okay, right now, of course, I'm in this corner. Yes, I can see a lot. Okay, of course, I can see into there. I can see into there. That's just the way it is. I just literally can see all those things. So it needs to be like that. You can't over optimize. You don't want to actually like visible things to disappear. That would be breaking the system. But notice that the back, um, you know, prop there at least isn't being drawn. And if we didn't put the hint and skip brushes, it would be. Okay, that's the thing. If I come into this side here again, right, it's not drawing any of the back of that, okay? It's really just drawing the bare minimums. And that's really, really cool. That's what optimizing is all about. I hope that made the point clear here for you. Hope that it kind of explains what, uh, what hint skip brushes are and how this kind of optimization really works. Thank you for watching. My name has been Nihil and until next time, bye bye.